Good evening, and thanks for being with us here at 6. I'm Brandon Johansson. Jorge Ramirez Jr. was working as an informant for the Bakersfield Police Department, trying to get information on a wanted felon when gunshots rang out. Ramirez Jr. would die on this day five years ago, and today the family visited his gravesite to remember that the man that he was. September 16th comes and goes like it does every year. It hurts like if it was yesterday still. You know, it's, it's a very painful uh, an emotional day for us. And every year bringing that pain and emotion back for Jorge Ramirez. I, it hurts me to see his picture in that stone. The picture of his son, Jorge Ramirez Jr., on a grave at Greenlawn Mortuary Southwest, shot and killed five years ago today during an officer-involved shooting in Southwest Bakersfield. Uh, we got the news the next day uh, about our son being deceased. It was a, a moment that uh, I, I still remember today, like if it was yesterday. At the time, Jorge Jr. was working as an informant for the Bakersfield Police Department after his family says he had his own brushes with the law, working to get information on wanted felon Justin Harger. He and Harger met at the Four Points Sheraton on California Avenue on September 16, 2013, when Harger was involved in a shootout with police. Both Ramirez and Harger were struck by a gunfire and killed. The officers involved in the shooting were cleared and returned to duty, but it was later discovered that disgraced officers Patrick Mara and Damasio Diaz were involved in making Ramirez an informant in the first place. Five years later, Jorge Sr. is vocal about his son's death, calling for justice for him and others involved in police shootings. But today wasn't all about that. It helps me to heal. It was about remembering the oldest of his three kids. Our son was the, the, the light of our family when it came to, you know, gatherings and stuff. And as the 16th comes and goes like it does every year, Ramirez keeps sharing his son's story despite the pain that comes with it. I share his story and it makes me feel like I'm doing something for him. Now, Justin Harger is also buried at Greenlawn Southwest. We saw his parents also out there today to mourn their son. After it was revealed that Mara and Diaz were involved, the Ramirez family agreed to a settlement in a wrongful death lawsuit against the city earlier this year, receiving $400,000.